Good morning, everyone. One of the hardest things that I've ever done as a parent is wake up next to my daughter who's having a grand mal seizure. She had climbed into bed with us. I think I was asleep. She was about seven years old and um, just right there in the middle of the night, she starts, uh, sorry, early in the morning, I was asleep, but early in the morning, she starts having a seizure. I wake up and I turn and I look and it was just one of those freak out moments. You don't know what's going on. This is not something that uh, I was used to or I uh, knew anything about. I'd heard about the epilepsy and the whole thing, but had no clue. And Sandy is a nurse and we both started not knowing what to do. We called 911 and it was the scariest thing in the world. We finally, uh, they wanted to put her in an ambulance, take her to the hospital. We said, no, we're going to take her ourselves. And so I'm holding her in my arm. Sandy's driving as we're going down the road. Sandy's thinking of all these things that could go wrong. And I'm thinking, oh no, what's wrong with our child? And you have that moment. And it's in that moment when you, 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 you got, you're going to turn to one or two places. You're either going to turn inside and doubt and fear and all this stuff, or you're going to look up and see the Lord. Well, as I'm holding my little girl, this verse came to my head, Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And those who seek him will find him, for he is a reward of those who diligently seek him. And I, that verse came to my head. I said, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And those who trust him will seek him. And he's a reward of those who diligently uh, go after him. And I, and I repeat that verse out loud to Sandy. And in that moment, our faith rose said, God, I want to please you with my little girl. God, I want to have faith that there's going to be a miracle, that something good is going to come out of this. And from there to Children's Hospital, uh, we just began to rejoice. We began to sing. My little girl was still in a catatonic kind of state. And, um, and, but it, it changed the entire uh, tenor of what was going on, all because we had planted God's Word in our heart the promises of God. We knew where to turn when tough times hit. And I want to encourage you today. You don't know what's going to happen today. We hadn't planned on that day ever happening in our life. You don't know what's going to happen, but where have you planted your life? Have you started your 60-60? Have you set your app to go off every hour to remind you that God is there, that He is with you in the midst of it? I want to help you, encourage you. If you haven't done it, do it. Drop me an email. I'll help you with it. If you're, if you're struggling with that, get into a small group, whatever it takes to allow God's word to fill your life because you never know when uh, tragedy is going to hit and you need faith to rise above it. Jesus, thank you for my friends. I pray your blessing over them today. I pray they would connect to you every hour on the hour. God, and be reminded that you're a God who is there in the midst of every challenge we face. In Jesus' name, amen. Sure love you guys. Thanks for being in my life. Thanks for listening to me. I want you to be encouraged today. Let's go and serve God with goodness and gladness and great faith.